Days. I mean, obviously the, the, the season's over. Uh, just what's your what's your thoughts here? Should kind of yeah. clean out last. Flies by. I was thinking about last night after the game. Like, after we um, won, me and Colton were just standing out there, just taking it all in. Because I feel like, you know, you don't really get the chance to just take it all in in this career. Kind of just onto the next week, onto the next one, and the next week, you don't really just get to like soak it in and just think about how far you've come and like how far you have yet to go you know so it's it's bittersweet because it flies by and that's one thing um when i was in baltimore marshall on the time of my rookie year i was like how'd you make it so long he's like you know you just take every day day by day but you know the days go slow the weeks go a little faster the months go a little faster but the years fly by and by the time you know it, you're on year 13 14 and you're looking back like damn where did time go you know so you just have to Take it day by day, like I said, but also just be grateful to be in the position you're in and to be grateful to come out the season healthy and you know, just have the season you had. Obviously, it didn't go how we wanted it to go, but being able to get a winning record for AP, I think meant a lot to everyone in this, rec- in this um, locker room, this organization. As a player, how do you approach the next couple of weeks with the coach search? Do you watch every rumor that comes out or do you step back until decisions made? Right, you just, I'm sure we're in no before I made the team because I was some free agent, but um, I hope to be back here. But I think that you don't look at Twitter and Instagram because obviously people are going to say what they want to say. And, you know, I don't know too many people that know what Mark Davis is thinking of than the people who he surrounds himself with. So, you know, you can look at Twitter, you can look at Instagram, but I think that's just going to stir the pot and just confuse people and just kind of make stories that don't need to be made. Just enjoy time with your family, your friends, like, you know, relax, release, you know, because it's been a stressful, stressful doing this. And, you know, you put a lot of stress on your body and your mind. So just release and relax and just get away for a little bit. You mentioned a free agent. How important is it for you to come back as a Raider again next season? Yeah, I'd love to be here. I've been here for three years, and me and my wife made a home here. Um, you know, and I've had the best years of my career here, especially this year with AP taking over and had the best season of my career by far. You know, I feel like this year I proved I'm one of the best attacks in the NFL. So. You know, um, I'd love to be back here, but like I said, it's a business, and you know, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. But I feel like last year when I was a free agent, I kind of let that just take control, and you know, just messed me up a little bit mentally. This year, I'm about to have a daughter, so I'm putting all my attention to that, and whatever happens, happens. You put on social media last night, kind of a, a post for AP, mm-hmm. trying to support him coming back as a head coach. Mm-hmm. So, what, like, how do you feel the change was in the locker room? How we galvanized it? Oh, it was huge. I mean, I can honestly tell you that I don't know where I would be right now mentally and physically if AB hadn't taken over. And that's no shot at, you know, Josh and what he was doing. But for me, it just wasn't um, going in the right direction. And obviously, you could see that with, with the week four for, uh, performance against Khalil Mack. So, you know, for me, AB taking over and just instilling that confidence in everyone and just, you know, bringing that dog out of everyone that everyone in this locker room has. Because, I mean, I feel like if you're going to fight, you got to be a dog because this is tough. And so, AP brought that out of me and it helped me have the season I had and just locking down all the best, like some of the best players in the NFL and then going against Khalil Mack again and, you know, making him a non factor along with Thayer. So, you know, without him, I wouldn't be here right now with the confidence I have and just the mentality I have also. So I owe everything to him. And that tweet last night was more so just to show my support for him. You know, obviously, like I said, I'm a free agent. I mean, I'll be here next year, but I think that he deserves the job just because of what he did for this team. and. I've said it, you know, like you can be the best X's and O's guy in the NFL, but that doesn't mean you're going to have a great team. It's not going to translate to winning um, games. You have to be able to lead men and, you know, be able to bring the group together and make them play hard for you and run through a brick wall. And no one does it better than AP. I've been in the NFL for seven years now. The only guy that does that as good as AP was Coach Harbaugh and see how the Ravens are doing right now. So, you know, I think that you can't go wrong with him. I think that if you give him a whole offseason to really turn this program how he wants to turn it into and, you know, get the guys he wants around him, then I think this guy's going to win it. Did he empower, did he empower the coaches under him, too? What was that? Did he empower the coaches under him? hundred percent. He let them be themselves. Like, it wasn't like they were walking around on eggshells, you know, with, uh, uh, I won't say that, actually. <laughs> I was going to say another phrase, but I don't think I can sit on camera. Um, <laughs> you know, they were just walking around on eggshells, having to, you know, be tight-lipped and just, you know, yes, sir, no, sir. And that's not how you want a franchise to be because that's not going to win games. It's, you know, it's going to create um, animosity and just – you know, fear of if I say the wrong thing, I may lose my job. So I'm have to stay in line and, you know, say the right things. And with AP, it was more so just be yourself, you know, be who you want to be, but also know that I got your back and, you know, we're going to go out there and throw everything, throw the kitchen sink at every single team and, you know, see how the chips are going to fall, but we're going to be in every single game. So, you know, AP, 
not only let the players be themselves, but let the coaches be themselves. And you could see that, and that's why you know we finished obviously five and four with AP. Um, obviously, we finished eight and nine, but we only count the games that we played with AP. So, who, who was? You play for a few organizations, and you mentioned like what the city has done for your family and how you've made a home here. But what does it mean to you to play for this organization? Oh, it's meant a lot. It's meant a lot. I feel like um, I've always wanted to play for this team. I've always wanted to play for the organization, and you know, it's kind of like the bad boys in the NFL. But they've also been known to have big, physical, tough offensive linemen. And you know, when I first got here, I wasn't like that. I didn't have that mentality, or I didn't have that. You know that um, discipline about me. I just wanted to go out there and just rip people's heads off, and it took me a little bit to get that mentality. But now, you know, I've been here for three years. I feel like I picked up on that, and I just like to go out there and just try to dominate people. And I feel like that's, the, you know, the right away. And I try to do that every single game when I was out there. And I tried to make sure that people who saw me play in this team play were proud of the way we were playing out there, win or like win or lose. You know, so I've loved it here. Like I said, this is, I feel like my career is truly taking off in this. Um, on this team and you know, I don't really count my first five years in the NFL and the good thing is I didn't play that much so I still have a lot of time left in my opinion like I plan on going for another six seven years and playing at high level every single one of those seasons um, so yeah I've, I've loved it here I owe Mark Davis and coach Gruden and AP everything because without them I don't know where I'll be right now. Curious, uh, throughout the season who was the most challenging assignment player you know the most challenging player yeah, because he whooped my ass week four. So, you know, that what was it, week 15 matchup or 16, whatever it was, yeah. I needed to – that was huge for me mentally to, you know, show myself that I'm truly one of the best in my position. And if I feel like I'm that, then I have to go out there and lock him up. And, you know, I didn't get to go against him much because he kept going against there. But when I did go against him, you know, I proved, I felt like I proved my point. And then the week before, they're going against Daniel Hunter, um, you know, going against the Chiefs, all the guys we played against this year. Like, I truly felt like I proved I was one of the best in my position. Um, but yeah, Klumac, just because he's, well, he's 32, 33 years old, but he freaking plays like he's 22, 23, and he just somehow found a find in the youth. And to go against a guy like him, you have to bring everything and more. So, yeah, definitely Kalil. Cool. No problem. You, you never slumped body language-wise. You come off the field after the team won as excited as anyone. How were you able to do that, man? What, and yeah, just go about your business that way. Uh, I've, I've been in some weird situations around uh, the NFL, so it's uh, Matt. I know it sounds cliche, but I'm really just about the team winning. Uh, I know everyone thinks that's just uh, tongue in cheek, whatever. But I really just uh, I care about winning, man. I love winning. Build relationships with these guys. They become like brothers to you, uh, and you start pulling for each other. I think that's a big part of this thing, and that's just who I am. So I'm not trying to change that anytime soon. Obviously, the season didn't go uh, the way you had planned or for personally. Uh, but what are your reflections uh, of this season? I've been trying to think about it the last what, 12 hours or so. Last night, just sitting there with the brothers, uh, reminiscing. You know, it's when you're in the middle of it, it's it's a whirlwind. You can't really smell the roses too too long, or you get caught up in it. And uh, I don't know, just reflecting. Built a lot of cool relationships. This building, uh, the players, obviously, but just the people in this building. It's a, it's a cool building. Good people to be around. Uh, and that's the stuff you carry with you, man. Uh, that's the stuff. You know, you look back in the season and little moments here and there, fun stuff. And yeah, I loved it. It was it was a weird year. Don't get me wrong, but I loved every minute of it. You said, <laughs> you said the other day, Jimmy, that don't you know? You never know what the future is going to hold. But on a personal level, what do you want going forward at this point? Uh, I just want to get back to playing. Honestly, uh, that's why I play this game. Like I said before, I love to win. It's what I've. I, honestly, what I think I'm here for is just to go out there and get wins as a football player. Uh, I don't know, it's something that you got to embrace. Not, not everyone wants that. Some people just want statistics and things like that. I really just want to go out there and win. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. It's, it's what we're here for. I know you're never going to use any excuses, but um, how good was the foot this year? And, and was it was it a transition going into the season with the foot? Uh, it, it was tricky. It was, tri it was, diff it was different than uh, any injury I've had in the past. You don't realize, I mean, you're on your feet obviously all day and it's just a little thing that nags you and so it was tough throughout training camp I can't even lie but we got to a good point where uh, you know started not even notice it really the last couple months I haven't even thought about it uh, rehab went well and finally feel like myself again so that, that's a one positive to come out of this not going into rehab or surgery this offseason that's that's big time I was gonna say there I'm sure there is a silver lining that you're able to get healthy these last eight weeks oh yeah yeah the body uh, body's feeling great it really Credit to the strength staff. Those guys really helped me out. 
got into a little different lifting program, uh, just the key in the whole body and everything, and I'm happy with where I'm at right now. How was the season different once AP took over as the interim coach? From your point of view, <laughs> we only got a little while. No, it was uh, <laughs> it was way different, man. AP, it was just uh, I mean, whenever you bring in a new coach like that, the energy changes. I think guys bought in very quickly. AP, one thing I really appreciate about AP, he's a straight shooter, man, and that's I think guys in this locker room, that's all you really want in a head coach. Someone that's going to shoot you straight, tell you if you messed up or if you did right, and really not sugarcoat. And AP, he's, that's how he is. That's how he was from the get-go, and I think that's what guys really appreciate. He just kept it real, man. I, I loved everything about it. Jimmy, I know you said you want to get back to playing. Is that something you feel like you can do here, or would you think you'll have to go elsewhere to do it? Uh, I'm pretty open. Uh, you know, A lot of things are out of my control. Uh, I've been in situations like that before, so players just got to roll with the punches a little bit. and. Um, Whatever happens, I think it all happens for a reason. You just gotta make the best of your situation. That's a, that's a big part of this whole th NFL thing is you're gonna be dealt the cards you're dealt and you just gotta make the best of it. What's Jimmy? the system like with kind of being in this organization and overall like the facility as well being so new and all playing in Las Vegas? Well. It's been top notch, honestly. Travel, where we stay, this building like you said, everything's top notch. Uh, Mark didn't cut any corners, that's for sure. He, he, he spent everything he needed to and we appreciate him as players for that. You know, it's a, it's a little thing, but it goes a far way. Just uh, when the equipment staff, the strength staff are all working together, those little things add up throughout a long season. And Jimmy, what did you think of the job Aiden did and what kind of future he could have in the league, uh, you know, based on what you saw this year? It was impressive. Uh, I mean, just being a rookie quarterback in the NFL is being hard, it's hard enough to play, uh, let alone all the circumstances that were going on here. For him to deal with it, uh, he's a real level-headed kid. I think that's going to do him well in the future. He's got to know who you are in this league and, and be you. And he did a good job of that this whole year. And he, he stayed true to himself. AP just told us a little while ago that you and, and Brian also helped coach him up and help him. What did that mean to you to be able to at least help him as well? It was a different role. Uh, I'd never really done that before. But you know, it's, I, I was a rookie quarterback one time in this league. And mm -hmm. I had guys help me out. Tom helped me out, uh, just older dudes in general. and. I felt, uh, felt a responsibility, kind of. I don't know, it's kind of a quarterback thing. No one really sees the game as the quarterbacks do, so you got to help each other out a little bit and, you know, point them in the right direction. So I tried to do as much as I could. I don't know how much it helped, but. <laughs> <laughs> Competing against the ones at practice, did you see that potential on the defense from training camp to then once the season started that they could be a top 10 unit scoring wise? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, unfortunately, in training camp, they got, the, they got the better of us, I would say. But uh, yeah, that scheme, it's tough, man. I think PG does a great job of uh, scheming it up and guys bought into it. They got smart players over there, guys that can do different things. And then you got Max disrupting up front. It's, that's a hell of a combo. So yeah, I mean, we knew they were going to be doing good this year. I didn't know they were going to be that good, though. I know you said there's a lot that's out of your control, obviously, this offseason. But what's your level of confidence uh, that you can play and play at a high level at this league? Again? Uh, it's where it's always been. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know who the player I am. and. Where I stand in this league, I think that's a big part of the NFL. Uh, I mean, if you don't believe in yourself, no one will. So that's a big part of it. But um, yeah, I just let the chips fall where they may. Uh, I just got to get on the field and start competing again. That's when stuff gets easy.